Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you, how to do this character intro freeze animation, inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'll show you the easiest way to do this animation. This animation is inspired by the character intro effect, from the Snatch film. This effect very effectively to introduce the characters. So in this tutorial, I'll try to make something similar effect. Now let's see how to do it. First import your clip to the timeline. Then find the frame where you want to freeze. This frame is perfect for me. Then make a cut here. So click on Ctrl plus K. Now we need to take a snapshot of this frame. So under the program window, click on this little camera icon. Then enable import into project. And click on OK. So it'll make a new snapshot to the project window. Then drag and drop it into the current time indicator. Now cut the snapshot, how long you want to freeze. I like to use 2 or 3 seconds. Then duplicate the snapshot one track above. So hold on Alt button and drag it on the track above. Now select the top snapshot layer and move over to the effect controls tab. Then under the opacity, click on the pen icon. And now we need to draw a mask around our subject. But first, we need to zoom in this clip, so we can do better masking. Then start drawing around your subject. Just take your time, and make the mask as good as possible. For now I speed up this part, so you don't have to wait. So our masking is done, now set the program window back to fit. Then change the mask feather 10 to 0. Now select the bottom snapshot layer, go to the effects tab, and search for Gaussian blur. Apply this effect to this layer. Then going back to the effect controls tab, change the blurriness around 50, and enable repeat edge pixels. Again select the top layer, and make keyframes on the position and scale. Then move 3 frames to the right. So click 3 times on the right arrow key. Then scaling the size, to fit the screen. And change the left or right position a little bit. Now move the time indicator few frames forward. Then again make keyframes on the position and scale. Again move 3 frames to the right. Now reset the scale and position keyframes parameter. And then move these two keyframes into the clip. For the next step, we need to nest the top snapshot layer. So right click on the top layer, and select Nest. Then click OK. Now move to the Effects tab, and search for Radial Shadow. Apply this effect to the nested clip. Then go to the Effect Controls tab. Under the Radial Shadow, change the shadow color to white. And increase the opacity to 100%. Now change the projection distance, 10 to 4. Then adjust the light source position with your subject. Now just move the bottom layer to the end of the snapshot layer. Let's see a quick preview. And it's perfect for me, now we need to add our text. So select the type tool. And type your text line to the program window. Then open the essential graphics tab to customize this text. Under the Ascentail Graphics tab, click on Edit, mark all the text line, and here I'm using Coca Goose Pro font. Then adjust your text size and position. Then click on the new layer icon, and select the rectangle. So you'll see a new rectangle shape to the program window. I'm using the shape color to white. And then disable the set scale lock. Now we can make the rectangle shape to a line. So decrease X value, and increase the Y value, as long as you want. And change the shape position to adjust with our text. To make another line, just we can duplicate it. First select the Move tool, so click on the V button on your keyboard. Then select this shape layer, and click Ctrl plus C to copy, then click Ctrl plus V to paste. Now just change the Y position and then adjust the text layer, with your nested clip. And that's all. 
Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I'll see you on the next one, have a nice day.